For this way of painting you need to have a fairly accurate drawing, so you could square up your photographs. In my case I just put quarters across the top and bottom of them, and I can work from that. Here you can see a couple of the drawings I've made. Let's show you how these drawings are done. The point is with the drawings is that it's easiest to draw the same in mirror each time. So if you're starting with one half of the wing, you draw the same on the other half. And whatever you draw on one half, you draw on your mirror exactly the same on the other half. Well this series of butterflies is going to require that I mask off some of the areas to show you the, the way we're going to use masking fluid and hard and soft edges, wet into wet around the outside and a harder edge here. The masking fluid again that I'm using is the um, Pebillo and uh, I've got two clay shapers here which are very useful with rubber tips. One is a wedge shaped one and one is a pointed one which is I think better than using a brush a lot of the time because the brushes get clogged up whereas these can just be rubbed off very easily. In this particular case I need to make uh, this a very sharp edge for the butterfly, a white sharp edge, so I want to very carefully put some masking fluid all the way around there so that later on when I've done the wet into wet edging I can just tint that down but it will look like um, it's been painted with a very sharp edge. I could do this by painting the wet up against the dry but as I want to put a lot of wet into wet um, around the outside it's going to be better for me to to use a masking fluid here in this case. So I'm just using the clay shaper to paint in this masking fluid all the way around the outside of the wing, the border line here, where I'm going to be able to rub it away later On the edge of this um, plant here there's some lighter little dots and light areas too that I just want to pick up on. Mm. We're going to start the underpainting of this blue butterfly now, which I want to do a little bit of mixed media with because I'd like to have the depth of colour under here for the blue and then go over the surface with a very fine texturing of uh, pastel, the unison soft pastel, which I think will give the iridescence of this butterfly quite well and then the background will be wet into wet. So first of all let's put on a, a coat here, a nice even coat um, of a darker colour for the uh, pastel to go over later. I haven't stretched this paper, I've only held it down with masking tape and it's £140 Arches hot press because I want a smooth or relatively smooth surface for this one just to scumble the pastel over later. I'm going to just put a little bit of water over the whole surface first so that whatever colour I put in will blend evenly across it. And in this case I want uh, to start with a cobalt violet which is going to glow through all over it. You can see I've already got the masking fluid on the edges so it's not going to go beyond those edges anyway. And these are the colours that I'm actually seeing on the photograph of the blue butterfly here, this sort of mauve colour underneath here, this very light violet mauve. Um, and then I'm going to drop in a few more colours just into that to glow through as well. There we 
we go. It's got a nice even coat of that across the whole of the wings. We don't want blobs and we don't want, so hopefully those will blend out as we go along. And it gets a little bit darker, so I'm going to take some, some light red and just drop that in there as well. Because I notice that there's a slight a darker tint underneath this blue. And I want to say glow under there. And I let that go wet into wet across the surface. And it comes down here. Down here. And in fact this bit here is slightly more yellow ochre. So I'm going to just take a little bit of, in this case, some um, raw sienna, not the yellow ochre, and drop that in. That that glows through down here. The lovely effects we can get with the wet into wet. It comes down through there a bit as well, and through some of the ends of the wing. And then there's a little bit of deep blue going on in places. So I'm just going to drop in some of the ultramarine into these areas and edges which will shimmer through the lighter blue pastel I'm going to use later. And that happens down here as well, right down through the body. It's quite dark down there actually. I'll drop a bit more dark into there in a minute. So this deeper ultramarine blue that's coming down into here which I'm going to pick out with the pastel, scumble over with the pastel afterwards. A bit of light blue will come up later. Get the feeling of the veins coming down as well by just dragging this down and through now. Just let it blend. See how effective this can be. We don't these edges getting hard. I think it's drying out a bit now, so I've got to be careful because I must finish quite quickly now, otherwise it's going to dry out too much. And I won't be able to get the effects I need. I'll just let these colours blend in here. Just about done the underpainting of that. Maybe a bit stronger in places on that blue, just a little bit 